Right, let's do a proof of the product rule. So what we're going to try to show here is we're going to try to arrive at the uh, product rule by using the limit definition. Um, so the limit definition of the derivative says it is, that the derivative of a function is the limit as h approaches 0 of the function evaluated at x plus h, which in this case looks like f of x plus h minus g of x plus h, minus the original function, and then over h. Um, okay, so that's what we're going to do. But we're going to use some magic here. And the magic is uh, this little fact. f of x plus h min uh, times g of x minus f of x plus h times g of x uh, equals 0. So I'm going to use that, and what I'm going to do is insert that into the numerator of the limit that I'm trying to uh, work out. So what I have is uh, this guy right here. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll insert that magical quantity there. Uh, so what I'm really doing, I'm really inserting zero. Not really doing much of anything. I'm changing the way it looks, but I'm not changing the value that I'll get out of it. So I have my original numerator, and then I'm going to uh, stick on a plus f of x plus h g of x minus f of x plus h g of x, and then still all over h. I'm uh, going to rearrange this a little bit now. So it's f of x plus h g of x plus h. And then um, it's going to be minus f of x plus h g of x. And then um, I will have plus f of x plus h g of x. And minus f of x g of x. All right, so I just rearranged that. And I rearranged it so that I can uh, make it work out the way I want it to. So now what I'm going to do is uh, break this up a little bit. So i got the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h dx. So I'm really just going to break this up into two limits um, that allow me to uh, factor in a sort of clever way that will result in uh, the product rule that I'm looking for. So I'm breaking it up really like uh, at the halfway point. That's why I rearranged everything. So I get this, and uh, from here what I can do is uh, that first limit, I'm going to break it into two limits. The limit is h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, and then times the limit is h approaches 0 of g of x plus h minus g of x over h, which you should notice is actually just g prime um, of x. So that's kind of the whole point of this. And then I'll break up this to g of x. Uh, and uh, that doesn't have an h in it, so I don't need the limit anymore. It's just constant that I'm factoring out. And the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Uh, so I'm in pretty good shape here. Uh, the first limit that I see, limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, if h goes to 0, that just becomes f of x. Um, the second limit becomes g prime of x. Uh, g of x is just g of x. And then this last limit is actually just f prime of x. All right. So uh, that's what I was looking for. That's actually the product rule. So uh, the product rule, and that was the proof or the derivation, I guess. I don't know, whichever you want to call it. I'm going to call it a proof. Um, I'm going to call it a proof because I've probably told you in class the product rule already and been like, yeah, it works. But anyway, that's why it works. Um, so I hope you found that helpful and good luck.